welcome people of the night or or the evening depends what time you go to bed i have yet another fly lady routine to speak about uh let's see my morning no my daily macarena dance off ah yes my fly lady evening routine all right cue the intense music <laughs> The night started with a meal. But it was not just any meal. It was the meal that we call dinner. So I typically start cooking dinner around 4.30 and I will use this time to put on a TV show for my three-year-old because otherwise, Cooking a meal like this is nearly impossible, and since I'm a meal planner, I do a lot of cooking, which over time I've come to enjoy. Except the giant mess of dishes it makes. That, that I will never enjoy. So I know some of you may be curious about what I'm cooking. Well, I'm making breaded drumsticks, which is a recipe on Pinterest that I really love. I'll link it below in the description if you'd like to try it for yourself. It seems like the drumsticks are always on sale at my store, and this is an easy way to make a cheap meal taste amazing. But at the same time, normally the cheaper the meal, the more amazing it tastes, you know what I mean? Pasta, pasta, pasta? Why must you be so delicious, you carbon-fested, belly-bloating, divine piece of gold? <laughs> I'll meet you at the oven in five. So now I'm using leftover potatoes from last night's dinner to create a classic bowl of carb-infested belly bloating mashed potatoes. But hey, a potato is a vegetable, okay? The current USDA nutrition model, my plate, says so. And I don't know about you, but I love me some sliced cucumber drenched in Italian dressing. It's the perfect side dish to any meal. What about you? What is your favorite way of taking a perfectly healthy vegetable and making it unhealthy? I'm a big fan of that practice. All right, my dinner is done, and now it's time for some intense slow motion close-ups so you can all watch and drool and wish you were me. Uh, I wish, I wish I were me, because at the time of filming this voiceover, all I'm eating tonight is salad. Bleh drenched in Italian dressing. So yes, this is a great meal. You should definitely make it yourself. Again, the Pinterest link is below. See, Ariel agrees with voiceover Ariel. And now my husband's home from work. We ate as a family, but I didn't film that because, well, you don't want to see me eat. My husband and I always say that if our first date was at an ice cream shop, then we wouldn't have been married today. Be because I look so good eating ice cream that he would have just fainted and went into a coma. Duh! What were you thinking? Now that I've cooked dinner, it's time to clean up and wipe down the counters because the next task is the most dreaded task of the evening. I'm just gonna name it Voldemort because it's the chore that shall not be completed. Except you have to complete it or you'll run out of dishes and have nothing to eat off of. So there's that. This is the first task of Fly Lady's evening routine. She says to shine your sink, but in order to shine your sink, you've gotta be able to see your sink. So that's what I'm doing here, cleaning the dishes for our next experiment where we will ask the question, is there really a bottom to your sink? Fact or fiction? The world may never know. Out of all the evening tasks on Fly Lady's list, this one takes the longest amount of time. All of her other tasks are pretty quick and painless. I keep hoping that one of these mornings I'll wake up and a dishwasher will magically appear installed into my kitchen and ready to use. I don't think it's gonna happen though. All right, I'm getting tired of doing dishes, so I'm just gonna have to do some recruiting. One minute. There we go, that's much better. Anyone else have one of these in their home? I ordered mine on Amazon and it's the best dishwasher around. Hi guys, welcome to That Awkward Dad. This whole cleaning thing, it's great, it's entertaining, it's fun, but let's talk about something interesting. Let's talk about something you care about. Like football. You know, I've always been a big Giants fan, and I always like to talk about, you know, other people and what their favorite teams are. So, you know, leave a comment down below saying who your favorite is. Yeah, I, I like to think that I know a lot about football. I, I've played it my whole life, and I, I've been told I was pretty good. Uh, no. What are you doing? I didn't say you could talk to them, okay? Give me back my microphone. What are you guys doing listening to him? No, Ariel. This is my time with my new people. We... 
Anyhow, now my husband is completing the first task of shining the sink. We cleared out the dishes and hey, what do you know, there really is a bottom to that sink. It's been proven, but only to be seen once. Now let me ask, is there a proper way to put a washcloth back? How many perfectionists out there are twitching? But no worries ladies and rare species of gentlemen that watch cleaning videos, I fixed it. So the first task of the evening is complete, let's jump into the second. Hot spots, we all have those spots in our home where the clutter builds up and the tabletops disappear slowly into oblivion. So Fly Lady says to set a two minute timer every day and tackle these spots. My main hotspot currently isn't bad at all. I'm usually able to do a decent job with keeping up on it. But hey, when you're spending two minutes every day clearing the same surface, it stays pretty under control. So that was quick and easy and that's how I like it. Next, I'm gonna take a break from all this cleaning business and spend some time with my family. This is the only time during the weekday that I can enjoy the company of both my husband and son together. Cleaning may be important, but time spent with family is most important and should be a top priority. The dirty dishes and baskets of laundry will always be there, but the days that we have to spend with those we love are numbered and we can't take them for granted. So take a break from those lists of tasks and sit down with the most special people in your life. And after about an hour or two of family time, then I jump back into my evening routine. Check your calendar to see if there's anything going on tomorrow that you need to be prepared for. Ah, there's nothing like an empty calendar month to make an introvert like me very happy. And the next task of the evening is to put things at the launch pad. Basically, the launch pad is a place where we set things we need for the next day so that we don't forget about it before we walk out the door. Sometimes I think my brain is made of goulash because I forget everything. Like the fact that my husband prefers crunchy peanut butter over creamy for his sandwiches. I have known that for years, yet I keep grabbing creamy peanut butter every time I go to make him a sandwich because, like I said, goulash. I don't have to be anywhere tomorrow, but I do make my husband's lunch for him every day. So this counts as my evening task of putting things at the launch pad. It's just his launch pad, not mine. Doing this at night eliminates the need to do it in the morning, thus making my morning more relaxing. I don't have to do this for him, but it's just something I like to do. I know it makes his mornings easier and we like to help each other out in different ways. So here is the launch pad today, which is the refrigerator. And now I'm down to just a couple more simple tasks that I need to do on the evening routine before I get to do the most glorious thing of the night. Oh, no, sorry, the second most glorious thing. Going to bed, a mom's favorite pastime. But first, I need to complete the next task of laying out my clothes for the morning. A very simple task to do that makes your morning so much better. Who wants to pick out what they're gonna wear when they're half asleep? Uh, that's dangerous. And it's nice to be able to wake up and not have to make that decision. So it's my husband's turn to put our son to bed tonight, which gives me the opportunity to have some extra relaxation time to myself before I go to sleep. But prior to that, I need to complete the next task on Fly Lady's list, which is simply to brush your teeth, wash your face, and bathe if you do that at nighttime. This is on Fly Lady's routine, but I don't write it on mine because it's not something I personally need to be reminded of. I am crazy about the health of my teeth. I'm big on flossing, I never miss a day, simply because I'm afraid of cavities. I also shower at night, but I didn't do that until I was done filming. And now, because I get to go to bed, we celebrate with a dance. And I introduce you to Leslie, who hates me. Just a young player that the West Side made me. Now all my tasks are complete, except my lights aren't out yet, but they will be at 10 o'clock because I like my sleep as much as I like my relaxation time. Now all I get to focus on is lying in my beautifully made bed since I made it this morning when following my fly lady morning routine. I get to cuddle with the cat that secretly wants to kill me in my sleep, which is why I sleep with the door shut. I get to say goodnight to my beautiful little boy before my husband puts him to bed. And lastly, I get to watch one of the best shows of all time, Gilmore Girls. And then I watch TV until right around 10 sharp because when you're a mom, falling asleep isn't much of a challenge when you actually get the opportunity to. Hey, while you're still there, why don't you check out my Fly Lady morning routine on the screen right now? Click here and enjoy it before I grudgingly remove it in spite of my cat trying to kill me. 
but I won't actually do that, so yeah, go watch it.